Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So a while ago I did a video on changing my engine oil in my D16Y8 to 10W40 to help reduce some of the oil consumption. Now we know the oil consumption is due to the piston rings because that's what the leak down test said. Now the 10W40 actually did help with the oil consumption. At about 300 kilometers I checked the dipstick and it was still full. Now previously we would see that at 300 kilometers the dipstick would all the way be below the lowest level on the dipstick. So that would be about a liter of engine oil consumed. Now it's not consuming anything at about 300 kilometers. Now I checked the dipstick level again at about 500 kilometers and it did go down a little bit uh, below full. So it's still consuming some oil. And because of that, I decide right now today, we're gonna to be adding an additive to the oil just to see if that would help. So the additive that we're gonna be adding into the engine oil today is this here, which is Liquid Molly's motor oil saver. Now my brother gave this to me as a gift and said that it might help with the oil consumption issue that I'm facing, but I don't think it will. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's worth a try. It doesn't do the engine any harm. Now what this chemical really is for is it helps replenish the internal seals of your engine. So if you have leaks and all that, this is supposed to help like, essentially swell up those seals and make it more um, soft again so that it does actually do its job as sealing so that you don't leak oil anymore. I don't have any oil leaks. All the seals on my car are brand new. So essentially this is not going to do the replenishing bit. However, this is also supposed to help with oil consumption. I'm not sure how, but I'm assuming maybe it changes the viscosity of the oil or something. Uh, or, but it does help, like I guess, make the engine quieter and all those kind of things. At least that's what it says on the label here. Now, because it has added benefits, I'm hoping that this would be more beneficial on top of using 10W40. Now, I haven't checked the oil levels since I checked at around 500. I now have about 855 kilometers on the new oil change. Um, so we'll check it right now. I'm assuming it would have gone down a little bit more because we already see some of the oil burn at around 500 kilometers. Now that it's at 855, it's probably gonna show even more oil burn. But if there's enough room, we're gonna dump this in and then we're gonna monitor it over the next while to see if it actually has any added benefit. Now, this only is supposed to take effect after about 600 to 800 kilometers. So I'm gonna to have to do quite a bit of driving because as you notice, I don't drive this thing that much. I've only driven it 855 kilometers since the oil change and a lot of time has passed already. But let's get to work. We're gonna dump this in. I'll show you guys what the oil level is like right now. And then we'll just start monitoring this thing. All right, let's give this a good wipe. And then we'll check the oil where it's at. All right, so that's where the oil level is at. So you can see that it is a little bit below the um, full mark. So it's, it looks like about a quarter of oil is gone. Um, still consuming quite a bit at 855 kilometers, but it's significantly less than before. So it's just enough room for us to dump that motor oil saver in there. So let's just dump that stuff in and check the oil level again. And then we're going to use this stuff here. Oh yeah, this stuff's quite thick. All right, let's just check the oil level right now. To make sure that we didn't overfill it, which I think we probably ended up doing. Oh. Well, it's right on the full mark now. So there's just enough room for just that engine oil saver stuff. Yep, just at the full mark. So what some people do is they, they pour some engine oil in the bottle and shake it up because I guess this stuff is actually quite expensive um, and they don't want to waste it. So I'll keep the bottle for now um, and We'll just run it and see how it goes for the next little while. All right, so we're going to fire up the car just so that we can circulate some of the additive. So I've driven about 245 kilometers since I put the motor oil saver into the engine. We're going to check the oil level now to see how much it's been burned. All right, let's wipe off the dipstick. 
Oh, it burned quite a bit, it looks like. Yeah, about a quart of oil has been burned for a third of a liter. Um, so it's still burning quite a bit of oil and it's actually burning quicker again. So we're gonna top it up with some 10W40 and continue using the motor oil saver in there and see if it makes a difference because it needs to be 600 to 800 kilometers before it actually starts making a difference. All right, so I've added the um, 10W40 into the motor oil saver bottle and then shook it up just to get any remaining uh, bits of the motor oil saver in there. So now I'm just gonna pour this into the engine. Well, it's the end of the season now, and this car is officially off the road. And it's always raining now, and before you know it, it's going to start snowing. And I only drive this thing in the summer, and I barely drove it this year as well. I've only managed to put 386 kilometers since the last top-up that we did, and that puts us to a total of 631 kilometers since we put the oil saver in. Now, as for the bottle, around 600 to 800 kilometers is when we actually start seeing the oil saving. Unfortunately, we just hit that threshold. So I don't know if we saved any oil at the moment. So we're gonna check that in a bit. But unless I continue driving the D16Y8 next season and report on it, I won't know if the oil saver actually does anything. But I do plan on finishing the B-Swap over the winter. So next season, I might be having a B-Series. So whatever results we're gonna to have today is basically it. If we do see some oil savings, if it did reduce the oil consumption, then great, if not, we know that this stuff doesn't really work, uh, at least unless it's a seal problem. Um, anyways, let's check the oil and I'll show you where the oil level is at right now. All right, let's check the oil by cleaning off the dipstick first. All right, so this is where the oil level is at. That's about a quarter liter of oil gone. So it doesn't really help, I guess, the oil saver stuff, at least not at the moment. It is burning slower, but that could be a combination of the 10W40 plus the oil saver or just the 10W40 on its own. Um, but we know for a fact that it is burning a little bit slower now, which is good, but it's still burning oil. But that's unavoidable because we know it's a piston ring issue. All right guys, that concludes our test with the Liquid Molly motor oil saver. Now, did it help with my oil consumption? I don't think it did. In fact, it probably made it a little bit worse than running the pure 10W40 because it started burning up a little bit faster than running just pure 10W40. Now, my issue is a piston ring issue. We know that already. So the only way to fix that is by rebuilding the bottom end. No liquid that you pour into the engine will actually slow the, the process down aside from running a thicker weight engine oil. Now that, Motor oil saver stuff is really just a seal swaller. So if you're having like really old seals and your engine is either burning oil or leaking oil due to really old seals, that stuff may help. It doesn't really do too much with the viscosity that I've noticed because it's still, it burned faster essentially. So it thinned out my oil, I would say. And now running the 10W40 did significantly reduce my engine oil consumption, uh, but it's still burning at quite a fast rate. Now, all I have to do is really just keep running the 10W40 until I really, really need the rebuild. But I'm going to be putting in a B-swap over the winter. At least I hope I'm going to be doing it over the winter. Anyways, so a new motor is going to go in and hopefully that motor doesn't burn any oil. Um, so then I can take the D16Y8 out and maybe rebuild it as a spare. So that's the plan, I guess. Um, but does this motor oil saver stuff help with the engine oil consumption? It depends on what your guys' issue is. If you guys want to try it, anything is worth a try, but it just really prolongs it inevitable. You will eventually need to just rebuild your motor. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.